Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about save mail message in UiPath. So this is another tutorial of UiPath email automation. And along with this, we are going to learn how to fix this issue. You can see the message, the given path format is not supported. So whenever you will get this type of issue, you can learn here and you can fix that issue. So today I'm going to show you, we'll learn how to save emails if it has attachments. You can see the screenshot here of the emails which I have saved in a local folder. So you can save emails in your local folder based on the requirement, based on the scenario. If, if you want to save emails if that email has any attachments so we can do that if you want to save that emails in your local folder if the email subject is a report test or anything so you can do that so let me show you the outlook and i want to you know tell you something so here in the outlook you can see that we have received few emails here and let's say in this email you are getting attachments and whenever in any emails if there is an attachment found you want to save that email in a folder it means same as this you can drag and drop this email to a local folder directly so basically in UiPath we have a, an act activity to save this mail so let's say if you want to save this email where the subject is table data or the subject is small request or the subject is orchestrator or something let me open UiPath Studio so here to save any emails in a local folder first you have to get emails right so for that we have to take one activity get outlook mail message and here in the property here in the properties you know that you have to put the folder name mail folder so currently I'm putting inbox and now I just want to save I just want to get 10 emails and now I'm going to take one variable that is emails and this will be a list of mail message now after getting emails we have to check one by one all these emails here and then save these emails so we'll take for each email in emails now go to the properties of this for each and change to system.net.mail.mail message now if you want to directly save all this 10 mail message because here we are taking top 10 so it will just read 10 emails so if you want to just uh, save these emails so you can take this save mail message and save here now in the mail message you have to pass this email variable here now here it will take file path so we need to pass here so currently I have taken one folder this emails here so I'm going to put here the path so this is under the project folder so it will take di directly this so I'm putting just folder name and slash and then I just want to save emails with the file type so we need to put here dot eml so the files the emails will be saved with this file type dot email format now we need to rename this file let's say if you want to save emails then I want to save with subject line subject name so we can do one thing we can put email dot subject 
so currently uh, let me change this top 10 to 5 and let me run this control F5 so now you can see here the 5 emails has been you know saved to the location so in this email folders 5 emails with the subject name that is orchestrator small request table data and this is the subject name you can check here in the outlook we have uploaded video on SAP here uploaded video on SAP then orchestrator orchestrator right so we can save this emails with the subject name now if you want to download let's say it means you if you want to save emails if it has any attachments so we will check here you know how can we check if you don't know how to check how to apply filter if it has any attachments or not you can go through my previous video and then you will learn there meanwhile I'm going to tell you this also here we need to write email dot attachments dot any so it will check if that email has any attachments so it will save that email here right now let me delete all this and this time what will happen it will get five emails and then it will check here if that email has attachments then only it will save that email now let me run this control F5 so now you'll see we have just only one emails if we we'll open this email you can see it has the attachment right so by this way we can check if that email has attachments or not and if that email has attachments we can save that mail message I just want to check here if email dot subject dot contents if I want to save emails where the subject is orchestrator so let me copy this dot contents double quotation orchestrator okay so we are missing this let's run this again control F5 now you can see it will it will just check this subject and it has saved that email now I want to increase I want to show you that error message so let me run this control F5 now you can see we are getting this error only six emails have been saved to the local folder here emails and now you can see we are getting this exception with the message the given path format is not supported now why are we getting this error because if we'll after six emails if you see here somewhere we are getting dot or any specific character in between the file name right so you can see we are getting uh, the subject name like this 20.3 so basically after dot it is considering the email file type right it means dot email so that's why it shows that it doesn't support so if you want to fix this issue this issue then we have to do one thing let me show you here let me delete basically the issue with the only subject message subject name because we are going to save our emails with the subject name so to fix this issue you can just do one thing you can save your email with any specific name like like email underscore one email underscore two or three four five six right now for that we can do one thing we can take a, a while loop here 
while activity and we can put here and then we can check here uh, counter less than equal to our emails so we'll check if counter less than equal to emails dot count and here we can take one assign activity let me take this and we can increase a counter counter equal to counter plus one and you can take one variable of counter with the default value one so currently I have this counter integer and then default value one now what will happen here after getting 15 emails it will first check if counter less than equal to emails dot count so what will happen here the first time counter will be one because default value is one it will check one is less than equal to what will be the value of emails dot count so this will be 15 because here in the get outlook mail message we have top 15 right so we'll get top 15s so this will be one less than equal to 15 yes so it will go here and then we need to save this file with this name so we'll check here with counter dot to string now we can just put here email underscore so what will happen it will save this email with name email underscore counter dot to string right and then next time it will increase 1 plus 1 it means counter will be 2 again it will check 2 less than equal to 15 yes then email will be saved with the name email underscore 2 now you can see this time will not be getting any issue control F5 right so you can see we didn't get any issue and all this email have been saved with name email underscore 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so up to 15 and basically if will not change if will not take care of this type of you know mistake then you will get the issue right so basically by using this we can fix this issue and we can save the mail message and we can apply filter based on the requirement we can save mail message now you can open this here and you can see we have these emails right now if you want to change this email format you know what will happen if you want to save this email with the MSG format it will be saved here with that file name but you can see here dot MSG it shows outlook item but if you try to open this it will not open we are getting this error right so only this issue we are not using dot msg we are using dot dot email eml file type right so i hope you like this video so if you found these videos helpful then please support by donating any amount using paypal you can find paypal link here in the uipath rpa channel you can uh, go here and then you will find this link donate to support uipath rpa and then you can click on this so it will redirect to paypal page and then you can see here the url that is uipath rpa and also you can see the logo and then my name so you can donate any amount and you can choose here your currency INR USD as per your country and you can you know put here any amount which you want to donate so let's say if you want to donate thousands rupees in INR you can just put there and you know process the next step thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video if you really like this video then please press the like button and if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please subscribe and please press the bell icon so that you can get the latest video notification and if you have any question you can comment on video thank you